Hey guys, it's Dragony. It's actually, it's been quite a while since I've recorded Ocarina of Time, hasn't it? Well, I guess I'm back now, at least for a little while. Uh, this is, I don't even remember what episode of Ocarina of Time. It's been a while since I've recorded, but it feels good to be back, you know? Back into the recording mojo. Oh, God. Kabor Gabor just had to ruin my mojo, didn't he? Fuck. Okay, um, Kabor, shut up. No, I do not want to hear what you say again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. 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 Okay, I am actually going to uh, cut quickly. I will... <clears throat> I'll be back with you right outside of our next destination. See you guys there. Okay, I am back, guys, and we are we are in Hyrule Field right now, heading to um, Kakariko Village or Kakariko Village. I don't know what the pronunciation is. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments if I even get any comments. I rarely ever get any comments. God, I need more viewers. <laughs> But here's the next uh, town. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm just gonna check how many um, gold skull tools we have. Only six. Okay. Once I have um, ten gold skull tools, I want to show you guys a little something. That's here in Kakariko. Or Kakariko. You know, just for old time's sake, because that's how I used to call it when I was little, I'm going to call it Kakariko. Uh, I always hear people call it Kakariko, but whatever. We have a bottle right now, right? I believe so. Yes, full of long, long milk, but I do... I don't think it would hurt to get ourselves another bottle, do you guys think? Talk to uh, this chick over here. She'll ask you to bring her, <clears throat> her chickens, called Kukos, into her pen. Okay, <laughs> we just have to find them all, which can be a little annoying if you do not know where they are, but <coughs> very sorry. But if you know where all the cuckoos are, then this really shouldn't be too much of a problem for you. Lag, lag, not good. Get back here, you little son of a bitch. I'm gonna slaughter your fucking family. No, 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 Link, no, grab the fuck. thank you. No, I'm gonna get this one right now, why not? Now this Kuko here that's on the ledge, you can only get it by using another Kuko to, uh, to glide over here and then yeah, doing this, just grabbing it and taking this one over here. Simple as that, but there's still more Kukos. Obviously. Uh, hey, get back here! Where the fuck do you think you're going? I still need you for another Kuko. I'm walking along in Kakakakaka village. Bum 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 I can't pronounce for shit. Come on, make it, you son of a bitch, Link. Oh no, 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 no. I totally took that turn wrong. Okay, come on. We're gonna retry this. Come on, Link, you can do this. You can do this. I believe I can fly. Yay. Alright. Alright. Uh, throw you out. Okay, there's a little hole in the ground here. Make sure... If you're collecting the Kukos, make sure you do not fall in there. Because I believe you have to... Uh, if you do fall in there, I believe you have to restart the whole thing over. I'm not completely sure, but I think you do. Go up this ladder, so let's go up there and get that. <laughs> so, how have all you guys been lately? I know I brought myself back in my last video of um, Links of the Past, but that was actually recorded quite a while ago. I just didn't get to upload till then, I mean, till now. 
So how are you? How are all y'all doing? Did y'all you? Did y'all miss me? Was I gone for too long for your liking? I don't know. Yeah. All right. Let's try to find that other cuckoo I threw over here. There it is. Didn't stray too far now, did you? That's a very good thing. Whatcha? Stay the fuck in that pen, you little son of a bitch. All right now, there's still two more cuckoos for us to retrieve. One of them being up here, and the other we'll get in a second. Just after we get this one up here. Hey, little buddy. No, no, get back here. Fucking loose this son of a bitch, I'm gonna slaughter you. Apparently I'm in a slaughtering mood today. I don't know. <laughs> oh, what the? What the fuck? Where did this one come from? Okay, I'm gonna go grab that one in a sec. I don't even... Hey, hey! Get in there, thank you. I didn't even know he could throw it right on the thing. Alright, where the fuck did this other random cuckoo go? He couldn't be the other one from all the way on the other side of the village. They don't really go that far. Let's see. No, I wonder which one that one was then. That's pretty weird. Hmm. Oh well. At least I got it. And the last one is right here by the entrance of Kakarka Village. back with this little son of a bitch and get it back in its pen and then we will be rewarded with a bottle I believe and you can do this as many times as you want but after you he only earned the bottle the first time after that I think she just gives you 50 rupees let's see goosebumps oh suck it up bitch goosebumps big whoop Fine glass. Yeah, we get a bottle. Thank you, my fine young prostitute, for my empty bottle. Now squirt it for me, please. I shall keep it forever. Nah, just kidding. Alright, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get, I'm actually gonna get an optional song right now because it's gonna help me with a couple gold sculptulas. And you can also get harpies in here as well at a certain time of night. I might get for it. I might get that for you guys. Also, while while I'm here, I want to show you guys another way to um, get the Hylian shield. The Hylian shield is a shield that you're gonna need to get uh, get up onto Death Mountain, which is where we're supposed to go next from Kakarko Village, because um, the shield will protect you from falling rot. Oh crap! Are you serious? Okay, I gotta wait till night. Um, so the, sh the Hylian shield is really, really big, so it'll protect you from falling rocks, and as anyone, uh, anyone that's a fan of Zelda should know, Death Mountain has lots of falling rocks. So the Hylian shield will protect you from those, so you're actually, uh, I think you, no, you are able to get on a Death Mountain without it, but it's just a really good idea to have it, especially since the next temple is going to be a fire temple. And the Deku shield is made of wood and it burns after being touched by fire, so. And the Hylian shield is metal or steel or whatever, so it doesn't burn. There's two ways. Sorry, I just, hit the, I just hit the mic. There's two ways you can get the Hylian shield. One of them you can go to the bazaar in Hyrule, Hyrule Castle Town Market and buy it for 80 rupees, I think. And there's also another way you can get it here in one of the graves in the graveyard. It's in a chest and you get it for free. Though I think if you buy it first and then try to get it in the chest, it's just rupees. But, but yeah, we're not 
we'll be doing that in a bit. Right now, we are in the royal family's tomb. Hi, keys. Oh, no, no, motherfucker. Get back here. Where did you go? I'm shit on your family. Bitch. Hey, buddy. You having a good day? Didn't think so. Okay, where's this other little bitch? There you are. I shit on you. Come on. Come at me. <laughs> oh, you little... <laughs> Still hit me. That stupid motherfucker. Okay, well, we get to go to the next room, so... It's all good. You know, I don't think lighting these torches when you come back here with Din's fire actually does anything. I don't know, I'll have to check it out sometime, but I believe it doesn't do anything. Okay, this room, you have to be careful because these are all re-deads, and if they see you, they will scream at you, and their scream, as you can see right now, is absolutely horrifying Link, and it freezes him in place out of terror for about a second or two. And if they get too close to you, they will start humping, they'll start humping the shit out of you, and it takes actually quite a bit of your health. Okay, here we apparently read. Okay, I'll read what this says to you. The rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun. Give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the Composer Brothers. Really now? Keep the sun song in your heart. This is actually one of my favorite songs in the game, just because of what it does. I, I personally find it very useful. I'll be showing you one of its... Actually, in this um, area, I'll be showing you two of its effects. Uh, well, it's, its main thing, it changes night from day and day to night, but it also has a couple other effects that I'll be showing you in a second. Just after this little cutscene's over. Blah, okay. Okay, uh, stand about here, play the sun song. Oops. Come on, Link! Thank you, motherfucker. Your little blonde ass hair with bad N64 graphics. And as you will see, because of the sun song. Yeah, you heard that? Yeah. All the undeads just froze. I don't know what. It, the, the sun song kind of. Oops. Yeah, those are like poisonous or something. But the sun song. It stuns these guys. You can try to kill them, but one hit with your sword and they will unstun, so you gotta be really careful. Anyways, that's two of its little effect things. I'll show you another one right here in this room. Uh, if you go up to this little skull here, you th you'll see that Navi turns green around it. That indicates a little secret. I'll show you what the secret is. Play the sun song? Wait for it to be over because it's so fucking long. And the little fairy comes out of nowhere. Oh my god! Try to catch it in your bottle. Oh, come on, Link. Oh my god. You see her? Fuck. That's bullshit, buddy. I can't even count the amount of times I've tried to catch that fairy and I just run into it. Uh, hey, Dompey's up. Right, I'm gonna try to get that heart piece, actually. Okay, this is the grave digging game. And if you talk to Dompey while he's right over a grave, um, you can pay him a certain amount of rupees. I forgot how many it is. He'll say in a sec. Uh, come on, hurry up. I wish this had, like, s tech speed options like Pokemon. Ten rupees, yes. Okay, this time I just got one rupee, but... I believe... <coughs> <coughs> 
Anytime he stands over one of those soft soil things, and you ask him to um, dig for you for 10 rupees, there's a chance you might get something. You might get rupees, you might get nothing, or you might get the main prize, which is a heart piece. And I will be trying to get this heart piece, so I will cut. I'm going to cut to when I actually get it, so you guys don't have to watch the grueling process for me just doing this shit over and over and over and over and over and over because it might take a while.